welcome back to the Fred in the Shed channel. I'm back up in the shack and another video on Fred fails completely at SDR radio. <laughs> Unfortunately, the nature that I'm making these videos, it's become a little bit disjointed. Um, my shift pattern at work has been forcibly changed upon me. And that means I don't get really a lot of time now after work in the afternoons to make videos or even go on the radio on the 305. I'm afraid, yeah, life and work is getting in the way of the more important things such as radio and hobbies. It's really a bugger, isn't it, when that happens? And that means we're a little out of sync because I'm making this video on my day off. It's the only time I've got and I haven't yet published the last video where we tried this FM broadcast band filter. So I haven't got the feedback yet from that video, nor I haven't got the feedback from this uh, RSP1 SDR that I explained that I couldn't use. So you have to bear with me, and I know it's frustrating if you've replied to that video before you watch this one, if that makes sense, but just bear with me. I have to work with the time that I've got available. Just to catch up. As I mentioned on the last video, when we couldn't get this one working, I have ordered another USB dongle and it's arrived. This is the Nuilec Smart Version 5. Gets a lot of positive reviews on the internet. And first time I had a chance to open it. Just comes in a little bag there. Oh, there's a little protection cap for the SMA connector. And there it is. Um, I must say it's very nicely made. I think there's plastic construction, but uh, yeah, certainly looks nice. Not expensive, about £35 on Amazon, gets a lot of positive reviews. In a moment, we'll take this downstairs, we'll install it onto the computer. You do have to install a driver, but Nuilec do supply you with that. It's a supported make, it doesn't completely leave you out in the wilderness like a lot of these cheap SDRs. So we'll install that and we see how we go. Now following on from the not so successful attempt with that uh, RTL SDR, I, I was thinking about things, in my, almost in my sleep if you like. So this was a FM block filter. This would block the broadcast band on FM, which is typically what in the UK, 88 to 108. And this would this would this would block it megahertz of course but that broadcast tower at Brookmans Park the one that's causing me the problems it does broadcast very strong FM but also it still broadcasts on the AM band and I'm thinking maybe there's a combination of the two maybe some of those stronger signals are coming across on AM there was some FM there but this will not block AM so I have a feeling that when I connect this downstairs on the computer in a moment, I've got a feeling we might have the same problem. Uh, in which case, I need a AM notch filter, something that will knock out the AM broadcast band, and what's that, typically 500 kilohertz up to, was it 1.7, 1.8 megahertz, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure this is gonna solve the problem. I'm not, I don't think I'm quite there yet. I might have to go a little bit further. But anyway, let's take this downstairs. Let's have a look at the software and see if we can get this installed and see how easy it is to get it working. Here we are again, back in the computer room. So what I like about Nuilec is the fact that you're buying a genuine item. It is, you do get a level of support, which is good. And also they have a great get, getting started guide, which I'm gonna follow in a moment, explaining how you install the software. What I found with SDR is that quite often it leaves you very much out in the dark. If you buy a cloned device, which I have done twice now, it, you, you, there's no support. You, you have to, there's a very, very steep learning curve, especially if you're getting older, a bit like me, and you have to learn it. So this is good. We've got a good start guide here for a Windows installation of the software. There is a driver that we have to install. That's pretty much standard for these uh, devices. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and install the driver. There is, I believe, um, software that they recommend, SDR software that they recommend for using the device. I really want, it to, want this to work on SDR Sharp. I, I, I quite like SDR Sharp, I've used it before. I will have a look at their software. I think it's uh, Cubic SDR or something. I think it's quite basic, but we will have a look. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and get the driver installed. We're gonna install the little dongle here. We're not going to use that FM filter because I have a feeling that isn't the right filter. 
Just, I'm going to connect it to my Antron 99CB antenna. Um, yeah, I've got it on my long wire here, as you can see. Now, if I get this working and I get the appropriate ballon, I think I need a 9 to 1 ballon because the impedance of this wire won't be 50 ohms. I need to get it balanced. But if I get this working, I do intend to use a long wire for shortwave. But at the moment, I'm just trying to see if I can get the CB 11 meters and maybe a little bit of 10 meters. So, right, okay, we're going to install this. Now, that's good, that's the sound of the driver going. Now on the screen, we've got this Cubic SDR program. Um, I have had a little play with this, and I'm not really 100% sure how this is gonna work. It, it was a little bit unstable. I think it crashed on me once or twice. So for the sake of this video, I might come back to this at a later date in my own time, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna use SDR Sharp. Ready to start it for the first time, let's hope it works. And then I'll go to screen save, screen capture. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and there we go. Um, yeah, we've got the police coming. So just as before here, these are these spurious radio signals. I wonder if I can adjust the RF gain. Okay, so we've got the AGC on, let's switch that off. That doesn't really help. And again, the RF gain, the tuner a AGC seems to be greyed out. I can't, it's the same problem. Um, I can't even, it's picking it up as an 820T device. Let's just see if I can choose a device here. Yeah, no, I think that's the one that's it's going to work on. Can't see a dedicated device there. So I'm looking at these signals. Let's test my theory. Let's just turn the volume up a little bit. Let's turn my... I wonder if these are AM. Oh, there you go. That's coming through very clear. Yeah, so these are AM, aren't they? There might be some FM in there. I've got to be careful of copyright now. Let's have a little flick. Yeah, these are AM signals. Reason us maybe not performing at the level that we would have liked was that so it were good as well. So. And make the protocol not just a, a practical tool to try and allow Brexit to happen, but to make... That's a bit of calm. Through this new arrangement has got to have neither to 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 please all uh, interested parties. It's got to right. So yeah, as I thought. The, these are AM stations, and I imagine these are coming in on that Radio Two transmitter. But look at the strength of them. I mean, these are really strong, aren't they? Um, change the range down a little bit here. Oh, I need to run it, and I hang on just a sec. I, let me just mute it. I'm a bit worried about copyright now. The last thing I want is a, a copyright strike. It's um. Oh, that's just a range for the display, isn't it? There's the range. I'm getting a bit confused. Bear with me. Oh, too much. Yeah, look at the strength of these signals. These are off the scale. Really, really strong. Oh yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle to, to lose these. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's just have a little think about it, and I'll come back to you. Right. At least we know what our main problem is, what I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm gradually um, getting there. <laughs> you have to bear with me. Typical Fred in the shed. More enthusiasm than knowledge. Stumbling away. But I think I'm starting to get there. Let's go back to the New Elect website. I know it's based in America. So let's have a little look. Um, see if they do any blocking filters. SDR add-ons. Oh, there you go. I suppose we're looking at an RF blocker, aren't we? A bit like a, a low-pass filter.
there we go flamingo fm high attenuator right i want something for the am don't i oh, there you go flamingo am broadcast am bandstop filter and uh yeah that looks that looks looks like the job doesn't it and high quality performance blocking am particularly problematic due to high power transmitters that's what i've got using yeah blah 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 uh typical minus 40 db well, that's that's quite a lot of loss i, I doubt if it'll do that <laughs> um yeah so you, there will be a little bit of roll off i think with this if it does I can't see it blocking all of those signals. Works between 350 kilohertz and 1900, 1.9 megs. That's pretty much what I want. So, right. I'm going to just go on to Amazon and see if I can find it on Amazon. Just just bear with me a sec. And there you go. There it is on, uh, on Amazon. This still AM. So, I think... I will go ahead and I think I'll order that um, and we'll see how we go. That's probably about as, as far as I want to go into it. They do that ham it up, down up converter. But I'm not quite, not quite willing to go into that yet. But I think we'll, um, we'll go ahead, we'll order that. And then I can come back on the video and we'll see if it works. Whether it knocks out all of those signals. They, they are mighty strong. I'm, I'm just a bit too close to that uh, transmitter. I think I can return this, can't I? Free returns. Okay, so if it does nothing, I might be able to return it, get the money back. But okay, join me in a second for you guys and a couple of days' time for me, and we'll see if this does anything. Okay, it's been a couple of days, and the little Noelec AM filter has arrived. So going to open this for the first time and as you can see there on the screen hopefully you can see that that's what we're up against that's all of the am bleed over signals now you know when you look at these some of these signals because that transmitting tower is so close they're right off the scale i can't see this cutting those out that would be a miracle this isn't harry potter's wand we've got here but i'm hoping if it can knock out some of the smaller sub signals I'm hoping it's going to leave me enough frequency that's clear that can be useful on 11 metres, especially the 27 triple five. If I can get the triple five clear, then we can get some skip. So the first time I obviously looked at this, and there it is, the Noelec Flamingo. Um, straight out of the packet. It seems quite nice construction. It's a metal case or an aluminium case, very nicely made, nicely screen printed comes with a SMA coupler which is quite handy now hopefully what I can do here because I've noticed this Noelec little USB dongle is a lot more stable than the previous cheaper one and I'm hoping that I can hot swap the antenna out and we can sort of see live the effect that it's going to have what effect that's going to be I don't know a bit pessimistic to be honest but let's see if I can do that right here we go then Take off the little protective cups, it's quite nice that it comes with that. Now what I've noticed on this filter, and it's very difficult to see on camera, I'm not going to move it too close because I'll lose the focus, but it is actually marked input and output, which the other one wasn't. So, let's very carefully swap this over. This is quite sensitive, it might crash the computer. There you go. That's so. Even with the antenna removed, you can still see that it's it's still bringing in some of those AM signals. They're so strong. Unfortunately, that's the problem. Living so close to a very powerful transmitting tower, not a lot I can do about that other than move. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm now going to reconnect the antenna with the filter. And. Okay, straight away, I, I tell you what, I can see a change. Okay, we've still got a few of those stations coming in, but I think that's I think that's quietened it down a little bit. Let's put the volume on. So some of these big stations are still coming in. 
to Formula 2. Didn't quite work out for him uh, yesterday. Uh, I do that. Sometimes you're talking and I'm reading lots of other things. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that, but we've got some quiet spots now. Let's just quickly go to the 27 triple five and see how that goes. That seems that seems reasonably quiet. There's even oh, there's even a little bit of skip coming in. Okay, let let me adjust some of these settings. Let me adjust some of these settings and uh, let's see if we can spread things out a little bit. But I think we're going to be able to work with this. It's not a miracle cure, but do you know what? I think we might be able to work with it. Okay, I I've changed the zoom and I've changed the offset and the range. And do you know what? I, I think we're going to be able to work with this. Now, I still have this very large harmonic here. If I click on this, I'm on, I'm on upper sideband, but if I put the volume up, you'll hear this is an AM station. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's obviously an AM station, but we've got some transmissions coming in here. Let me just click on this one. Here we go. Just need to tune it in now. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what guys, it's actually working pretty well. Still got those harmonics of course over there on the side of the screen, but I'm on the triple five now. It's bang on frequency. And yeah, you've got the obvious whistling going on, and there's not a lot of propagation coming in at the moment, but it's picking up really, really well. Got some Italians coming in, and uh, do you know what? I think this no elect little dongle, I think it's going to work. Let's have a quick listen to the triple five. Let's plug the microphone in. Let's start it up. <laughs> So do you know what? That's working pretty well. I'll take that. A 35 pound dongle. Okay, I'm using the AM filter, but then that's just my location. If you wasn't living close to a transmitting tower, you certainly could pick up some skip there, and this will work just as well on the UK FM when there's some activity around. So I'm actually really quite impressed with this new elect dongle. Seems that I may have cracked it. You might be able to get on air and listen with an appropriate CB antenna for less than 50 pounds. What I'm going to do next is we'll have a little listen around on the ham bands. Now, my CB antenna obviously tuned for 27 megahertz. It's completely untuned for the ham bands. What I shall do at another, a later date, not on this video, but I've got my long wire here and I'll rig up my long wire to the dongle there. We'll run it out of the window. We'll run it down the garden. And being a horizontal wire, that should pick up the ham bands a little bit better. I've also got a ballon that I've got to try and work out what ballon I've got. I can't actually remember. I'm just going to have a little tune around now on the handbands and we'll just see what my out of tune antenna does. But so far I'm really impressed. After all that struggle it appears we've got something here that actually works. Italy Kilo 3, Uniform November America. Italy Kilo 3, Uniform November America. Compass. Italy Kilo 3, Uniform November America. Italy Kilo 3, Uniform November America. Compass. CQ Compass, CQ, CQ Compass. Sugar Papa 9, Radio Charlie London. Uh, Hotel Sierra again. Whiskey 1, Hotel Sierra 59500. 
I'm going to bring this one to a close now with my conclusions. Well, hopefully you've followed the videos and you've seen my fumblings, my mistakes, my disappointments, and that might save you some time and frustration yourself. Obviously, I didn't necessarily need to buy that FM broadcast block filter. It was only about eight pounds. It was an AM filter that I needed. Again, if you're starting out, I think you'll probably be fine. I don't think you'll need an AM blocking filter unless you are particularly close to a transmission station like I am. So what are my conclusions? Well, firstly, I would say that this cheap SDR that I bought, it was only £25, but I would say avoid that. And I personally would have gone straight for the Nuilec dongle. And also, there's also that silver RTL SDR as well. You just, you just get a lot more support on the website if you do get problems. There's lots more add-ons as well from Nuilec. Obviously, the AM filter there. There's an FM filter. There's also the Ham It Up converter, which should make the HF experience even better. So, yeah, I would save your money. I wouldn't worry. It's only another £10 more for the genuine thing. I'd go straight for this. Um, one other thing, and because of the videos aren't running in sort of any order at the moment, um, I haven't even uploaded the last video. I'm hoping to get some feedback back from this Banggood SDR that they sent in. This is the one with all the multi inputs. At the moment, the problem with this, this is an RSP1 clone and it needs to use SDR Uno to work and obviously I can't show that on my YouTube channel because SDR Uno is licensed to SDR Play for their products. I don't want to show you that. I'm hoping when I upload this video that people will come back and someone had given me a freeware software that I can use. So hopefully we want to try and get this working in a separate video. Be interesting to see how this performs. Also, I've only shown you the CB band and a very small bit of the HF band. This is a wideband scanner. This will go right up to the VHF and even the UHF frequencies. That will cover, say, 446 band. And I don't think there's a lot up on FM now. A lot of all of the, look, it's all encoded and decoded. I think the buses have gone. But anyway, I think in a separate video, I do have a scanner antenna mounted up in the loft. So I think we'll take the laptop up into the shack and we'll connect this up at a later video and we'll have a look what's on the UHF and on the VHF and we'll see what this can pick up. But I think for now, we'll call it a day. I think I've done enough. Thanks as always for following the videos. I do appreciate it, small channel and all that. There's the thumbs up for Fred for your view time. If you could just give me a thumbs up down below before you go, I do appreciate that. It helps the channel. But as for now, as always, look out for some new videos. There's plenty coming up. The skip's going to be rolling in soon in the UK and I'll be showing you that on CB Radio. But as for now, there's the thumb. Cheers, look after yourself. Stay safe, catch you on the next one.